Hello diecast collectors. Today's video is about Majorette. This is a toy company that I grew up with. Many fond memories of playing with my Majorette scaled vehicles, Matchbox scaled vehicles they kind of called them for they are the same size roughly as Matchbox cars. Hot Wheels and uh, small die cast of a similar genre. Today Many adults age 30 to 60 may find a sense of nostalgia also when remembering growing up with toy cars of their youth. Many think of brands such as Dinky, Hot Wheels, Matchbox, Lesney, Corgi, just to name a few. Some may also think Majorette. Matchbox scaled toy cars with a decent selection of heavy quality constructed die cast vehicles. Majorette is a company founded in France in 1963 by a member of the Voren family known for creating the French toy car manufacturer called Norev. Norev is the founding brother's family name spelled backwards. From the 1965 to present day, Majorette diecast toys have been sold around the world and like many toy car manufacturers, Majorette has an interesting history of both success with plenty of setbacks. Like many toy car manufacturers of the late 20th century, Majorette struggled to hold its own in the highly competitive die-cast market, up against the likes of Lesney, Hot Wheels, and many, many others. Up until 1980, Majorette manufactured mostly European vehicles. However, several Japanese and American vehicles were also represented in the casting line. In 1982, Majorette broke into the North American market, However, its success was short-lived in the USA. Throughout the 1990s and during all of the 2000s, many retail stores discontinued stocking Majorette cars, likely due in large part to competition from heavyweight brands such as Mattel's Hot Wheels. For consumers in Canada, especially the eastern and central provinces, this failure was not noticed to the same extent, as many Canadian retailers continued to stock Majorette alongside other more popular die-cast brands. Ultimately, Majorette's failure in the U.S. market proved to be too large a blow, and the company filed for bankruptcy once in 1992, again in 2003, and changed ownership no less than three times in the span of a decade. During this time, the quality of the distinctively heavy Majorette castings of the 1980s was replaced with cheaply built plastic models produced primarily in Thailand rather than in France, where Majorettes were historically manufactured. Matters got worse, when the only remaining factory located in Thailand was completely destroyed during heavy flooding that inundated Bangkok in 2011. Following a complete rebuild of the factory in 2012, production resumed quietly and generally unnoticed to die-cast collectors and residents of the USA. Then, in 2017, Majorette made a reappearance in the North American market when retailers Toys R Us and Walmart stocked their shelves with new and improved castings. These castings were of popular cars and featured good proportions, quality construction, details, and opening doors. Sadly, Toys R Us in the USA went bankrupt shortly after the reappearance of Majorette, essentially axing 50% or more of distribution. Walmart proved to not be of much help either as the toy cars hung on pegs for far too long in most stores until finally sold at clearance, never to be restocked. Aimed primarily at the collector market, Majorette once again ran into trouble with heavy competition from other die-cast brands already established in American retail stores. The price one may pay for a vintage Majorette casting these days varies considerably. However, the old Series 100 and Series 200 castings along with transport trucks, generally seem to command the highest prices at online auction. Here is my oldest Majorette example that I own. It is a very small scale compared to the others, has a lot of opening parts, features suspension, and as you can see it is a Series 100 because it has under Majorette number 116, the Peugeot 404U, made in France. So that is a Series 100 because it's a 116. A Series 200 
would be something like this car, produced around mid to late 1970s. I've got it upside down. Majorette, made in France. Now all Majorette cars do have a scale on them. 170th, it varies considerably. That's why I simply call it Matchbox Scaled Cars because just like Hot Wheels and Matchbox, the scales vary wildly. Here's another one from the Series 100, a Chrysler, oh, no, Chrysler 180, sorry. This is a Series 200, that's the example I was looking for. Number 208, that is a Series 200. Now these are the older style wheels, however, the wheels types on the cars were quite limited considering 50 plus years Majorette has been in production and generally it is difficult to accurately determine approximate age of castings based on the wheels alone. You're better off to look at the series. The three series are the primary releases of Majorette over the decades. We've got series 100, 200, there's another 200 series, again with thicker wheels now and of course series 300 let's go over here I'm gonna guess this is a series 300 car opening doors it's got a red base no it's a series 200 well there are series 300 somewhere here this is an interesting one all gold chrome plated Ferrari F40 and that is a series 200 as well, number 280. So somewhere in here there's probably some series 300, but I mostly collect the vintage, which was series 100 and 200. And uh, castings are easily identified, as I said, on the, each base with a detailed name stamp, collector number, and a scale. So if we look at some of these larger vehicles here, larger scale, or smaller scale, larger vehicle, Majorette, number 211 or 263, scale 187th, and even more so these big dump trucks, I think are 1100 or something of the sort. Doesn't really matter, lots of cool trucks. More notes to be made. Now I'm going to talk more specifically about the series. We've mentioned series 100, 200, and 300. There's also the interesting series 3000, series super 600, Series 2300 and Series 220 and Series 100 that I'm going to mention. By far one of my favorite and to most collectors also a favorite is the Series 3000. These are the 164 scale transport trucks of which I already have a YouTube video covering quite a few of the additions I had to my collection last year. Highly detailed nice large scale we'll, we'll grab another one this is a 167th Chevy Impala for scale so hot wheel size these are terrific trucks tons of detail removable trailer very heavy often get questions on these how much are they worth where do you buy them they're not commonly found in the United States these were more often sold in Europe and Canada um, half of my trucks and when I say half, I have about a hundred of these trucks stacked three deep in my drawers. And there's more elsewhere. I just don't have room on the table to put them all out. So if you want to see those trucks, visit my Majorette 164 scale truck video and you'll see lots more of them. Uh, I might put them at the end of this video if I have time. There's another one right there. Cement mixer. That one is a larger scale. That's a one... I think 154th scale or something weird anyways. Major it did lots of different scales and those were identified by the different series number. So that was series 3000. These trucks are worth in mint condition anywhere between 30 to 40 dollars on eBay. You shouldn't have to pay too much more for them than that. If you're lucky like me you'll find them at flea markets and antique stores for around 10 to 20 dollars each which is quite reasonable. Series Super 600. I don't have any of those out right now, I just realized. Those are the 187th scale trucks. And they are going to be found in one of these drawers that I have. Nope. Which drawer is it? 
Darn it. Anyways, I don't have any of those out, but they would be about this scale with a tractor trailer behind them. A trailer, I should say. So, a whole bunch of those I have. Also, check my YouTube video for those. In the 187th scale Majorette trucks, you can see them all there. I'll put the links in the description for both these videos I've just recommended you to see. And Series 100, 200, we talked about those. Series 2300, Sonic Flashers. Sonic Flashers were press or three inch castings or 164 scale approximately. And uh, they were all emergency vehicles with lights and sirens. You press down on the front or the back of the car to activate. Known for extremely durable electronics and long lasting batteries. Original packaging claimed over 5,000 activations on some models. Mine lasted nearly 20 years. I've had some of these for over 20 years with no modifications to them at all. My ambulance actually just stopped working for this video. How unfortunate. There's a battery that's dying. That one is not. Still going strong, military police. My favorite casting. My absolute favorite casting for Majorette is these Chevy Impalas. Just absolutely love them. Opening doors, big heavy suspension. I have got so many awesome examples of these cars. Taxis, police cars, military police. And I've even got a larger scale over there in the back. That is 143rd scale, along with that big, huge limousine. And yes, the limousines. I've got some 157th scale Cadillac and Mercedes limousines with four opening doors, opening sunroofs, full suspension, and solid metal. Check this huge heavy casting out also a all-time favorite casting growing up and playing these were always the presidency cars for me the opening doors big skylight so nostalgic there's a clear look at the base these are number 339 that's the series 300 series 300 why couldn't I remember that series 300 is the larger scale vehicles and the 187th scale trucks I was talking about with the trailers. Series 220 was military special forces. Not that one, it's the Sonic Flasher, but this ambulance fits the bill. As do these Chevrolet pickup trucks. How many toys do you see nowadays with a rotating artillery gun on the back? Not only would that be an extreme choking hazard for the uh, child requirement laws of toys but also it's uh, kind of taboo now isn't it having guns guns and things on your toys lots of cool military vehicles from the special forces these were released oh, when were these released in my notes nope I, these are my original toys from when I was a child. The, uh, the tanks, the rotating turrets, rubber tracks, like these things are monsters. No scale, interestingly, on them. They're metal top, plastic base. Here's some with the removable missile. Actually comes shooting out, another little choking hazard for the young'uns. And, uh... Nice beefy machines. These were a dollar fifty Canadian when I bought these back in the day, or when I should say my parents bought them for me. I was just a child, so that would have been at least fifteen years ago, more like twenty. Yeah, no, twenty years ago. I'm a thirty-five year old man now. What am I talking about? At least twenty to twenty-five years ago. So, you know, mid nineteen nineties. Whole bunch of them. Got the six-wheeled uh, amphibious vehicle. And each of these came with two army men as well, which I have misplaced and are somewhere in my massive 
pile of boxes. So that is uh, series 220. One more series to talk about. Actually, there's there's two more series to talk about. Uh, we're going to talk about those in a second. Those are bigger scale. One something or other scale. The Nova cars. These were the cheap knockoffs, um, actually from the company Novacar, which was absorbed in the early 2000s. It was an Argentinian company, I believe, and uh, Majorette took the the base and uh, put their own bodies on it, all made of plastic. Some interesting, nice little castings, though. Check out this NSX, or how about this... Uh, was that a Zuzu? An Zuzu something? A rodeo? An Zuzu rodeo? I think is what that is. Like a nineteen early nineties Zuzu rodeo. Or this interesting little minivan. Some nice little castings. Like I said, the three hundred ZX for my American friends. And uh, the final ones I have no notes on, but I do have a original collection these four larger scale cars were mine when I was a very young boy these are my originals Majorette Chevy Bel Air 134 scale known for opening doors big suspension rolled really nice heavy metal pieces Mustang 65 Mustang 63 split window um, Thunderbird, 56 Thunderbird, low on details other than some transparent headlights, chrome bits. These were cheap cars meant to be played with and look at they've survived. I played with these probably from the age of about 7, you know, till 12 years old or so. So maybe even younger. Those are old. Those got to be about nearing 30 years old. Some additions to my collection that weren't from my youth. This old, even larger scale. Major, it made a lot of different scales. It's as you can see, it's a bit of a bit of a wreck. Lamborghini Countach. Lots of opening parts. Oh, we're dropping mirrors. Uh, One twenty-four scale, made in France still. And then the big limo. Pretty cool. In here. And some helicopters. I didn't make mention of the helicopters. These are interesting. Majorette, as part of the series uh, 300, did these helicopters accompanied with a flatbed truck or some sort of towing rig truck. There's another one. Uh, yeah, series 322. You can see right there. A dolphin, and then we've got a larger, uh, larger scale tractor here with lots of moving apparatuses. Also featured in my uh, larger scale vehicles video, bulldozer, 156 scale. Really cool details on the old Majorette. Yes, they're not super, super authentic looking, but they are extremely detailed. Uh, really well built vehicles of yesteryear, and. This is actually quite a rare piece. I started out with this. An original Majorette case. These used to be sold in your local department stores. Some of the best cases ever. You've got one thin tray for your normal cars with this being the longest section for big long cars and, and a bunch more longer cars. And then a deep tray for your trucks. You fill your trucks in there. Because these these Majorette vehicles don't generally fit the regular 164 scale type uh, containers of the time or suitcases. You needed the big Majorette case to accommodate these large scale vehicles. I mean, you could even get a transport truck in here if you laid it on its side. You can't do that with most, uh, with most cases of the time. Hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave a comment, question, subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. See you next time.